Hi, I'm Margaret from Heidi and Lana Yarn Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to finish and block my newest design, Passage. The one I'm wearing here is made out of Spin Cycle dyed in the wool in the Kimona colorway, and then I have some handmade Heidi and Lana buttons on it. Then the one I'm going to be, the sample I'm going to be demonstrating with, is also made out of Spin Cycle dyed in the wool, and it's in the Narcissus colorway. So this is the one that I just finished knitting and you can see I've started to drop some of the stitches but down here at the bottom you'll see this is what yours will look like just after you bind off. It'll be all coiled up like this. And then to drop the stitches, um, normally when we drop stitches on accident it seems like they run down really fast but when we don't want them to, or when we do want them to drop we kind of have to work at it. So what I usually do is just hold the fabric um, on both sides like this and then just use my fingers to kind of work those stitches down so that they continue dropping and you're going to do this with all of the stitches that you dropped on that row up towards the bind off and you'll just keep working them all the way down and the dropped stitches will line up with the yarn overs that you created back towards the beginning of your scarf. And sometimes some of the little fibers kind of get caught on each other and you just have to keep working at them. That one's really stuck there. And you'll drop it clear way down to where it meets at the garter edge. And you'll do that with each one of these. Just keep working them down. And then after you do that, you're gonna wanna weave in your ends, which I've already done on this. And then you'll be ready to block it. So make sure that these are all dropped all the way down. And then you're gonna take it over to your sink or if you have a pail that you wanna do your blocking in. And I have some soap here from Tuft Woolens. She's on Etsy tuftwoolens.etsy.com and you can get this little sampler of wool wash um, it has five different scents this one is the vanilla almond and so I'm just going to rub some of this in the water get some soap in here you can also use any other kind of wool wash or even Dawn dish soap sometimes I use that just put a little bit of soap in there and I'm using cold water so that it doesn't felt and you just want to submerge your garment in there and just hold it down in until the water gets all the way through it you don't want to agitate it at all I'm just holding it under the water and then I usually let my pieces soak about 15 minutes um, when I'm blocking them So then after 15 minutes is up, you'll just want to take it out of the water and you just want to squeeze the water out. You don't want to wring it out, you just want to squeeze it. And then this next bucket over here, I have the same temperature of water as I had in the first bucket, so it's not changing temperature. And I'm just going to submerge it in this, and this is just clear water, just as a rinse water. And I usually let my piece soak in the rinse water about five minutes before I take it out. And then after that's done soaking, you can just take it out and once again, just squeeze, don't wring it. And then you wanna take a bath towel to just lay it out like this. Then I'm going to turn it around this way here. Just squeeze it into the towel. And what actually works best is if you put this on the floor and just step on it, you can get more water out that way. you feel you've gotten a lot of the water out of it 
Then you're going to spread it out on your blocking board or wherever you're doing your blocking on a bed or on the floor. And yours will look different than mine because all of your stitches will be dropped all the way down. And then you'll want to have a tape measure to do your measurements. And you'll notice on the pattern, let this have to wipe a little bit, um, the bind off edge, which is this edge up here, is wider than what your cast on edge is. And so you'll want to get it to the right measurement. And um, so just take this like this. I'm just using some sewing pins here. And then you'll just work your way down, pinning this out and going down to your bottom measurement, which I don't have quite enough room here to lay this all out. But you'll just let this gradually get narrower as you come down until you get down here to your cast on edge with that measurement there. So that's how you drop your stitches and block the passage scarf. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you really enjoy knitting and wearing your scarf. You can find me on Ravelry and on Facebook and Instagram all under Heidi and Lana. Thanks, bye!